Hi everyone. <clears throat> so it seems that my previous Lech Lecha video did not fix itself overnight. So I have made the decision that I'm going to remake it because watching it is just quite irritating. And there's also a couple of things that I forgot to say last night that I really wanted to add. So here is the new Lech Lecha video. I hope you enjoy. So Lech Lecha, this is the third parsha of the Torah, the third section of the Torah that we read in this new year. Um, in it, we are introduced to our forefather, Abraham, who single-handedly brought monotheism to this world. He brought monotheism to a world that simply was not at all monotheistic at the time. We are also introduced to the idea of circumcision, which is a big, big, big deal in Judaism. We are also introduced to our Jewish half-brother, Ishmael, who is actually the father of the Arab nations. So those guys are our half-brothers. Pretty cool, we learned that in this Parsha. So, I'm gonna focus on just the first part of Lech Lecha because it is one of my favorite sentences and it's something that I do very often and I go back to very often and I really try to think about within my life. <clears throat> so, Lech Lecha, the beginning. Go to yourself, go for yourself. This is an inner rebel's dream, which is why I love it, I'm such a rebel. So. Lech Lecha, go to yourself, go away, leave your country, leave your city, leave your dad's house, leave everything and go to the land that I will show you. This is basically what the beginning tells us. So every rebel loves this, this beginning because it says, go on a journey, go, travel, explore, see the world, find yourself, do all that stuff. Awesome. Okay, great. So. Traveling is important. I really, really think that traveling is a very good idea. Exploring new places, me meeting new people, very, very good thing to do. But the Torah is not telling us to take a physical journey. You know, why, why, how do I know this? Because if you look at this first beginning sentence and some of the other sentences surrounding it, it absolutely doesn't make any sense. Um, and also, it's the Torah. The Torah is a lot deeper than just the words on the page. You know, it's not just a story telling us what to do based on the story. If we wanted nice stories, we could just look to any other religion, any other culture, and we would probably find better stories than what's in the Torah. The Torah is not a storybook. The Torah is telling us certain things, certain details about our history in order to help us learn. There's a reason why there's certain details that are omitted. is because we don't need to learn from it, but this stuff we need to learn from. So let's pick apart and ask some questions about this beginning part. First of all, it starts off with God saying to Abraham, I'm going to read in English because um, I'm assuming most of my readers and my website followers are English speakers. If you want to discuss this in Hebrew and learn the Hebrew with me, I would love to someday. <clears throat> so God is saying to Abraham at the beginning, Lech Lecha, go to yourself, go away from your land, your birthplace and your father's house to the land that I will show you. Okay, sounds pretty good, but if you take a look at the end of the last Parsha, Parsha's Noah, we are actually introduced with, to Abraham and his family, and it tells us that Abraham's family left his birthplace. So why is God telling Abraham to do something that he's already done? Problem, right? He's already done it, and God wouldn't tell you to do something that you've already done. We have another problem. If you are supposed to go away from your land, aka your country, let's say the United States of America, and then go away from your birthplace, aka your city, let's say Chicago, and then go away from your father's house. Well, if you've left your city, obviously you've left your father's house, right? And if you've left your country, you've obviously left your city. So why is it completely out of order? It doesn't make any sense, right? So we learn from these, prob these problems, these issues that come up that we are not talking about a physical journey. We are talking about a spiritual journey. We are talking about a spiritual journey to the self. So when God is talking about Abraham's land, we are talking about our culture, the culture that we are brought up in. When we are talking about birthplace, we're talking about the neighborhood. We are talking about the community, maybe religious, maybe educational community that we grew up in. And we're talk when we talk about our father's house or our parents' house, we are talking about our habits, the deep things that are ingrained within us, our assumptions, the things that we are not even aware of. So God is telling Abraham to leave all this stuff 
and then only then will he find God, will he find you know himself. So it's interesting. Um, if I were to ask anyone, even myself, you know, who are you? What do you do? What are you all about? Usually, I would probably say, you know, I live here. This is my job. I'm a I'm a wife. I'm you know I cover my hair. I have a website. I do this. These are my friends. This is my community. This is my religion. This is my favorite music. Blah 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 blah. Um, these are the things that we define ourselves by. So the Torah is basically saying, get rid of all that stuff. And the problem is when many of us get rid of all that stuff, we're not really left with very much. We feel like if we let go of all that stuff, we're going to be left with nothing. So the Torah is actually telling us the opposite. It's telling us that if we left, let go of all our labels, all the things that limit us, no matter how good they are, then we will actually find ourselves. We will find our true, true, infinite selves. Because even though these things are important and they do influence us, we are so much more than these labels. So, 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 so much more. So, I have an example, a couple of examples that I want to bring up. Um, I, I will often tell people when they're dealing with some sort of issue that, you know, I can't tell you the answer. There's no, you know, the answer can't come from an outside source. I can maybe help you bring clarity, but really all of us know the truth within us. All of us know what we're supposed to do when, when we're in some sort of difficult situation. It's just the stuff on top, the biases, the this, the that, that we have to get rid of in, all the, in order to find the truth that we already know. So this Lech Lecha is actually telling us exactly what we need to do when we need to make a hard decision in our lives, when we need to really, really go to ourselves and do what we know is right. <clears throat> So let's say that you're having a relationship problem where you have to make a decision. Or let's say that you have to choose between two jobs or two cities or some sort of very, very big choice. And you know that within you, you know the right answer. And believe me, even if you actually don't think you know the right answer, you know the right answer. The answer is within you. So how do you find that answer? So the Torah is telling us, first, let go of your cultural assumptions. You know, in, in America, we have the American dream, making it big, having, you know, the doctor in front of your name, all that stuff. These are our cultural biases. So let go of that stuff first. That is the easiest thing to let go of. Second, after that, let go of your communal ideals. So let go of, you know, your friends, what your friends think, what your religion says. I'm sorry, I'm not saying you know, what your deep religion says. I'm saying the surfacey stuff, you know, what's proper, you know, what's expected of you. You have to let go of that stuff in order to find your truth. <clears throat> and third, lastly, the most difficult one, let go of your father's house, which is your parents, the environment that you grew up in. Let go of those habits, those assumptions, those deep, deep things that, you know, let's say you're having a relationship problem. Your parents' relationship will, will often, um, you'll have assumptions about how relationships are supposed to work based on your parents' relationship, right? So you have to let go of that stuff in order to figure out what's best for you. So the Torah is actually giving us a process of how to go on a spiritual journey, how to find ourselves, and how to find our infinite light. So this is something that you can't just learn once. This is something that I personally apply every single time I have a life-changing problem I have to deal with. And it's almost every day that I have to think about it. So, you know, I'm really, really glad to share this with you. This is one of my favorite parshiot. It is awesome. And may we all merit to lech lecha. May we all merit to go to ourselves and really, really go to our truth and find the infinite with light that's within us. Because that is the true you. The true you is not the labels that you attach to yourselves. The true you is the infinite light and the answers are already within you. So, good luck. I hope you enjoyed. Bye, everyone.